All right, thank you, Rosie. It may only be early fall, but we're already seeing some really chilly weather today. And that means many people will start turning on the heat. Well, Rich Woodruff from the Utah Red Cross joins us with some tips when you turn on that heat at the house to do it the right way. Well, I would suggest, you know, uh, gas furnaces, they can leak, they can create carbon monoxide issues. Not a bad idea to get it serviced, get it checked out, make sure all the connections are good so you don't have any uh, risk in that area. So we want to start with those things that are mm -hmm. the biggest offenders. What do you see sure. right now when you respond to some of these places that have house fires because they didn't do the right things? Well, we get a, lot, we get a spike in, uh, in fires. Uh, it, it runs the gamut sometimes. Uh, people try to thaw pipes with uh, like a, a torch or something. Uh, sometimes we'll see uh, indoor space heaters that, that fall over uh, and create fires. And so right. that's How many times have you heard that, where the yeah. space heater has been like too close to like a curtain or something that's flammable inside mm -hmm. the house and, and all of a sudden it goes and catches fire? Yeah, uh, space heaters need he uh, space and, and because uh, you've got to have a clearing around it and if it falls over, you could be in trouble. Yeah, we've heard some people in the office who are already talking about bringing a space heater to their desk. Sure. Right, and that, that little enclosed space can cause some real big issues. Yeah, they get, they get very warm. They could, they're combustible. I mean, they can start fires very easily, curtains. Of course, we head into the holidays. You're going to have Christmas trees, that kind of stuff. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Okay, so you have space heaters are an issue. Mm -hmm. What should you do with a space heater? Just make sure to keep it away from the distance from certain things? or what Yeah, do you do uh, keep it away and, and, and make sure that, uh, you know, that it doesn't... Uh, well, of course, it doesn't fall over, but it's not a bad idea. Once the house is warm, maybe shut it off overnight. But uh, so yeah, leave it on too long. That's part yeah, of the key. Yeah, heat, heat the house up. Uh, maybe keep it in rooms. Keep those rooms sealed uh, so the heat stays in there and just uh, be real careful with them. So what else is on that list? We're turning the heat on safely. Well, you've got pipes that can burst. Uh, a lot of times families get displaced from flooding, uh, you, you know, pipes burst. So mm -hmm. a good rule of thumb is to let the faucet drip a little bit. Uh, also, if you've got pipes behind uh, your cabinets in the kitchen, open the doors, let them keep a little bit the warmer. The heat kind of get yeah. to those pipes. Yeah, yeah. Of course, you want to take care of your sprinkler system, drain it, get it all, you know, squared away for the winter, take care of your plants, make sure your dogs are in good shape uh, when it gets as low as it's going to get tonight. You bet. What else is on that list? Well, uh, you know, you want to be careful yourself. Uh, cold kills. I mean, uh, you know, uh, I mean, basically you can hypothermia. You can get in a lot of trouble if you're mm -hmm. outdoors this time of year as well. So what we recommend, we've got a first aid app that's got a lot of good tips beyond what we have time to talk about today. And, of course, we've got a link to that app and, of course, the information on their website at abc4.com slash GMU. Talking with Rich Woodruff this morning with the Utah Red Cross about things you should think about before you start turning on the heat. But it gets really cold out there. Rich, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. Stay warm. You betcha. Mm -hmm. Rosie?